Hello everyone. Welcome to Introduction to Online Forex Trading. Today I'll be teaching you how to trade Forex and this is going to be the first class. Introduction to Online Forex Trading. What exactly is Forex? Individuals who engage in the active exchange of foreign currencies, often for financial benefit or gain, are referred to as Forex traders. This can take the form of speculators looking to buy or sell a currency in order to profit from the currency's price movement. Or it can take the form of a hedger looking to protect their accounts in the event of a negative move against their own currency positions. What exactly again is Forex? The term Forex trader can refer to an individual trader on a retail platform, a bank trader using their institutional platform or hedgers who manage their own risk or outsource that function to a bank or money manager. Forex can be said to be the buying and selling of currencies. What then is the foreign exchange market? The foreign exchange market is abbreviated as Forex FX is a decentralized market that facilitates the buying and selling of various currencies. This is done over the counter rather than on a centralized exchange. You've probably already participated in the foreign exchange market without even realizing it by ordering imported goods like clothing or shoes or more obviously by purchasing foreign currency while on vacation. Forest trader may be drawn to it for a variety of reasons. <coughs> what are the things that make forex traders to trade forex? One of them is the size of the foreign exchange market. The size is so large. Another reason why traders love trading forex is because a wide of a wide, wide range of currencies are available for trading. There are many currencies available for trading so if you don't want to trade this currency you can trade another currency pair there are more than 100 currency pairs on the foreign exchange market then traders love to trade uh, forex because of the varying degree of volatility volatility is high in forex price can go up so many pips in a day in an hour in a, in a even in a minute sometimes then transaction costs are low then during the week trading is available 24 hours a day so on monday when it is midnight trading does not close trading once the market opens on sunday night it does not close until friday night forest trading terms the first foreign trading terms i want to talk about is the currency base currency when quoting a currency pair, this is the first currency that appears. When it comes to Euro USD, the Euro is the base currency, variable quote currency. This is the second currency in the quoted currency pair and in the Euro USD example that we have used in the above example, the variable or quote currency is the US dollar. Bid. What does bid mean? It's another term used in forex. The bid price is the most a buyer or bidder is willing to pay. When looking to sell a forex pair, this is the price you see, which is usually to the left of the quote and is frequently in red. Then we have the ask. This is the inverse of a bid and represents the lowest price a seller will accept. This is the price you will see when looking to buy a currency pair and it's usually to the right and is in blue. Spread. What is a spread? This is the difference between the bid and ask prices, which represents the actual spread in the underlying forex market plus the broker's additional spread. Another forex trading term is pips or points. A PIP, also known as a point, is a one-digit move in the fourth decimal place 
This is how traders frequently refer to currency pair movements, such as GP, GBP USD rallying 100 points today. Leverage Leverage enables traders to trade positions while only putting up a fraction of the total trade value. This enables traders to control larger positions with less capital. Leverage magnifies both gains and losses. What then is a margin? The difference between the full value of your position and the funds lent to you by the broker is the amount of money required to open a leverage position. What then is a margin call? Margin call occurs when the total amount deposited plus or minus any profits or losses falls below a certain threshold margin requirement. That's it, what it means. What then is liquidity? Because there are many participants trading the currency pair. A currency pair is considered liquid if it can be easily bought and sold. Two sides to every market in forex trading. The way prices are quoted in the forex market is one of its distinguishing features. Because currencies are the foundation of the financial system, the only way to quote one is with other currencies. This results in the relative valuation metric that, while initially perplexing, can become more normalized the longer one works with this two-sided convention. Forex trading in pairs does provide the trader with some extra flexibility by allowing the trader or investor to voice their trade against the currency that they believe is most appropriate. Now, let's consider the Euro. Assume a trader has optimistic projections for the European economy and wishes to go long on the currency. Going long means buying that currency. But suppose this investor is bullish and is also going long is buying, is also bullish, is bullish on the US economy, but bearish on the UK economy. In this case, the investor is not required to buy the euro against the US dollar. A long euro USD trade instead can buy the euro against the British pound, a long euro GBP trade. This gives the investor or trader more flexibility, more flexibility, allowing them to avoid going short the US dollar in order to buy the euro and instead buy the euro while going short the British pound. Base currency versus counter currency. The convention of a forex code is an important distinction. The first currency listed in the quote is known as the base currency of the pair and this is the asset being quoted. The second currency in the pair is known as the counter currency and this is the quote's convention or the currency used to define the value of the first currency in the pair. Take Euro USD as an example because the Euro USD is the first currency mentioned in the quote. It is the base currency in the Euro USD currency pair. The US dollar is the second currency in the quote and it is used to define the value of the Euro in the Euro USD quote. Assume the Euro USD exchange rate is 1.3000. That means that 1 Euro is worth 1.30. If the price rises to 1.35, the Euro will have increase in value while the US dollar will have decreased in value relative to the euro. If an investor was bearish on the euro but bullish on the US dollar, they could short the pair, expecting prices to fall, and then cover the trade by buying it back at a lower price, pocketing the difference. What exactly then is a PIP? The base unit of measurement in a currency pair is a PIP which stands for percentage in point. The value of a PIB varies depending on the pairings, counter currency. For, a, for currency pairs where USD is a counter currency or is listed second in the quote, 
the p value or cost is frequently one dollar for a ten thousand lot of currency which also means a p value or cost of 10 cents for a 1000 lot and ten dollar for a 100,000 lot so if an investor purchases a 1000 lot of euro usd each pip gained or lost is worth 10 cents if the same investor purchases 10000 lot of euro usd each pip gained or lost is worth 1 dollar and if the investor purchases a 100,000 lot the pip value is 10 dollar per 10 dollar per, per one Continue with this example, suppose the investor who purchased Euro USD saw a 50 pip gain. If the investor used a 1000 lot, the 50 pip gain will be $5, that is $0.1 times 50, which is $5, while a 10,000 lot will result in a $50 gain, that is $1 times 50, which is $50. If the same investor worked with a one hundred thousand dollar lot the profit will be five hundred dollar that is ten dollar times fifty which is five hundred dollar pip cost of value are extremely important data points for forex traders to be aware of as this is how spreads are communicated those traders must know their pips so the pips is important in profit making it's also important in losses Trading forex on demo accounts. One of the most significant risks or disadvantages of learning a market or learning to trade is that trading can be an expensive endeavor with the risk of financial loss always present when trading actual card capital on a trading platform. When a trader buys or sells a forex pair, they run the risk of losing money which can be costly for a new trader learning the ropes. However, many forex trade brokers provide demo accounts so that new traders or prospective customers can become acquainted with the market, the platform and the dynamics of forex trading before depositing a single dollar, euro or pound. A demo account can provide a simulated environment in which a new trader can implement strategies and manage trades and fictitious capital with fictitious capital. This can be an excellent place to learn the fundamentals of forex trading, such as how to initiate positions, set stops, and scale out of trades. Trading forex has several advantages over trading in other markets, as explained below. So why should you trade forex? It has some advantages over other markets. Low transaction cost is one of them. Forex brokers typically make their money on the spread if the trade is open and closed before any overnight funding charges are applied. Then low spreads. Due to the liquidity of major currency pairs, bid stroke ask spreads are extremely low when trading the spread is the first barrier to overcome when the market moves in your favor. More profit opportunities are available in Forex. And that is why people trade Forex and why, why you should trade Forex too. Forex trading allows traders to speculate on currencies, going up, appreciating or down, depreciating. Furthermore, there are numerous Forex pairs available for traders to identify profitable trades leverage leverage trading is another reason why you should trade forex leverage is used in forex trading this means that a trader does not have to pay the entire cost of the trade but only a portion of it this has the potential to increase both short both your profits and your losses so this is the introduction on forex trading introduction to online forex trading and we will continue in our next uh, video and subsequent videos on different aspects of forex trading you need to know 
and how to actually begin to trade forex until then please subscribe to this youtube channel and make sure you go over this video again so that i can get the major foundational lessons i'm going to continue in the next video bye for now